everybody it's Andrea welcome back to the channel I am finally going to do my supplies and Cohen Bacall this is the stuff I bought in March and April there isn't much like I said I am cutting back on buying things just simply because I just don't have the space and I also have a lot of colouring books and stuff that I haven't actually coloured in yet so I'm going to start with supplies so I did buy some more of these Calm Over Chaos glitter pens because I think they're really really nice they're not cheap but they are worth it and then I also got from Calm Over Chaos I'll just find it I've got some other bits here to show you as well these uh, 36 water watercolours in a portable case now I haven't actually tried these out yet so I might try them out on camera if I get a chance if you'd like to see that let me know and these are by the best crafts these came from Karma Over Chaos and they come in this little palette a little plastic thing this is all the colours got a tiny little brush and a water brush which is always good now oh, and a little dabber now she's been using these in her books I haven't actually got any of her books because I think they're quite expensive I might try and get one next month if I've got some spare money just to try and they're mostly affirmation books and I'm not really big on those but I would like to try these out in one of her books as well as in one of mine so I can't remember how much they were they were probably about 11 99 12 99 something like that maybe a bit more but I thought I'd try them up and of course she is a small business so I do like to try and support small businesses where I can I did get some other things off of TikTok shop I'm not sure which shops they were but I bought these metallic pencils by Boken so my phone's buzzing and these are okay but you do need to keep them upside down for the ink to run through they do look quite nice and I have used them and you will be seeing them in some of my coloured pictures that I'll be showing you in my end of month coloured pictures which I haven't filmed yet but will be very soon but yeah they're nice Again, I was just trying all sorts of stuff off of TikTok shop. And again, from TikTok shop, I've got these glitter pens. These are by uh, Leah. Yui Lex Yuan Stationery Company. And I think they were 7 99 So I'm just trying them out. And these are quite nice as well. Nice glitters. And I've used those as well. So you'll see them in some of the finished pages. The biggest thing I got was... Uh, a set of acrylic paint markers I've got tons of acrylic paint markers but they're up somewhere I can't get to them so I've bought some more <laughs> as you do and I have used these um I've swatched them there are 36 in all and if I get the red so you can see it properly they <laughs> God, just got it on my hand they're brush markers which is really nice um so they're very bright great colors there is one gold and one silver as well Again, these were all on TikTok shop, so if you just put in acrylic markers or glitter pens, you'll find them in TikTok shop if you want to go and buy them. The last two things are not from TikTok shop. Hooray! They are actually from Lidl's. So Lidl's had these art markers in. They're Crilando, which is the brand that they always have, and they're different from the art markers I had before. So these ones are the, the brights and the pastels. They come in these lovely little containers. They're double ended with a thick nib. Can't remember what it's called. But the other end is a brush pen. And these colour, not only do they smell gorgeous, but they actually colour beautifully. Um, definitely going to be seeing one picture at least with those coloured because I have used these a lot. So, yes. Those are nice. So if these ever turn up again in, <coughs> excuse me, in your local Lidl's, um, I think they were three ninety nine, something like that. Maybe they were four. I mean, they might have been not, might have been seven ninety nine. Don't think they were four. They seven ninety nine. They weren't very expensive. I'd pick them up. If I see these again, I will be picking them up because they are lovely markers, and they are lovely colours as well. Onto the books. So I did get uh, Relax With Art. I like to pick these up when I'm in the supermarket if it's a new issue. 117. As you can see, I've done a picture in that and you will see that in the next one. But you know what Relax With Art's like? Different pictures, different subjects, patterns. 
and so on. Always really nice pictures. Then there's a, uh, this is Dinosaur Colour by Numbers. Is this Jade Summer? I think this is Jade Summer. Yes, it's Jade Summer. I'm sure it is. Yes, Jade Summer. So lots of cute dinosaurs. Myself and Jennifer have got this one. Sometimes I do just have to get them for Jennifer as well, especially something like this because she loves dinosaurs. Very easy to colour, nice simple one, just, just I don't feel like doing very much. So, so as part of the Ava Brown Club launch team, I should say, I've got three to show you from the last two months. I have this one, which is Easter. I did a picture from this last month, it was a chick. That was done with the Crelando markers. And these are absolutely stunning pictures. I Hopefully, I love this one, we'll do a lot more of these next year, even though they'll be up in a folder because I mean, gorgeous. I like that one. Just a lovely book. I really like that book. Then we've got Spring Countryside. <clears throat> oh, I do excuse my throat. I have done a picture in this. And you will be seeing that again. Oops, that's upside down. That's just the way I've collated them. I do apologise. Um, in my completed pages. So this is quite a nice one. It's just various spring scenes. Yeah. And gardens getting ready and things like that. And the shed and the plants. Always makes me a bit sad gardening because my dad was a big gardener. So, that's, you know, but they're really nice little pictures. So, definitely worth um, <clears throat> the price. Now, if you are, <clears throat> if you're interested in Ava, Ava Browns, go to avabrown.com and sign up for their free newsletters, and you'll receive ten free colouring pages from them. And the last one was that one. You know, that's what we've just done. Uh, Littleville Springtime. So this is the little mice again. I do like it. It is cute. The mice get a bit repetitive, but they are really nice. This one's particularly nice. The little mice doing various spring things, as you can see. It's a cute one. In the hammock reading, that'd be me. Easter egg one, so another Easter picture there, it's really cute. That's a nice one. So I'm glad I'm back in the Ava Brown uh, launch team because I like colouring their pictures and it means I get a colouring book every month or two a month. It used to be when I was first on the team they were printing them every flipping week and you couldn't keep up with it. Now it's slowed down, it's easier. I have, this is a new Jade Summer one. I will do a flip through of this. This is Jade Summer's Magical Mermaids. We're in May, so a lot of people are doing mermaid. I'm not just doing mermaids. If I do one that is a mermaid, I will tag it mermaid. But oh, these are absolutely beautiful. But Jade Summer are back to releasing lots of lovely pictures again. Steampunk mermaid. Oh. Yeah, I like them. I think they're great. They do a lot of different things like colouring challenges they didn't used to do. I don't bother with those. I just, I like to colour the pictures. That's, that's all I'm in, back in here for. And another Jade Summer one is a 100 mini mandalas colouring book. So this is um, a smaller book, as you can see. And it's got generally four mandalas on a page like this and so they're very tight so very good for fine liners and gel pens all different things i'm not sure how i feel about it i like it it's portable and at the back they do have some full-size ones as well so it's not all these tiny ones so you get mostly big the little ones but you do get some bigger ones as well like this one. So yeah, it's all good. I thought perhaps they printed pages of them as like uh, a guide to show you like thumbnails, but it's not. They are meant to be coloured as well. So, but yeah, quite like quite like that. But that you got all these ones. 
and I've got some grayscale as well which is nice and then I got a few from their simple colouring book there that one's from the bold colouring book so yeah and the last colouring book like I said I didn't buy much is The Little Mermaid which is Colour in Heaven Little Mermaid Special this is by Fabiana Trier Tri I can't say her name I do apologise this is the only Colour in Heaven book other than the Jars one that I've bought this year the only one um, they have not been putting out anything I particularly want so I'm glad I haven't got my subscription because I've got so many books I like that one you know they're really nice don't get me wrong they're beautiful pictures this one I, I quite like this one but uh, well, that's a lovely picture I don't I have I just haven't liked them which is unusual because there was a point where I loved every single book they did um, it's just my change in taste I would imagine so yeah so that's the Little Mermaid special. Those are all the supplies and books I bought in the months of, months of March and April. I hope you've enjoyed um, this video. Sorry, I'm miles away. And I will be back very soon with some more colouring and reading videos and hopefully a photography one if I ever get around to finishing it off. So I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.